climb up the world tree to the top? Very, very tiring. It doesn't look that far from here to the surface, at least. We can manage that, surely. Don't you ever quit with that optimism, eh? <laughs> Rex, I can see why you've brought Jin, but I advise you not to let your guard down. Morag? Got a point. I don't need your remorse now, Jin. But when we're past this crisis, I'm taking you in. I owe it to my leader and to my people. If you resist, we'll kill you. Bridget and I. Yes. Morag! What? Another monster? What is it this time? Master Pun! Above! Is it the... S oh, there they are. It's the Minoceros. Are they here for Jin? That's Jin. What's he doing with them? Weird. Let's ask questions later, huh? After we finally smashed huh? him up. Seriously? Well, okay. Hmm. Jen? Yes. Don't attack, he says. What? But it's the perfect chance. Huh. I told you not to attack! <laughs> you sly devil. Hid that one up your sleeve, didn't you? No idea why he said that, but he must have his reasons. Huh? You can't be too predictable, right, Mick? Sounds like a plan. Never seen that side of Jin before. Let's bring him up. Then it's world tree climbing time. Yes, sir. Bridget. Huh? You're still... like you used to be. Jim. Damn! Ursuls. That's a bit unsporting of them, using a giant boat. We must hurry. The longer we wait, the bigger their advantage. Yeah. We gotta go, Rex. Gramps, you knew. Right? About Jin. Indeed. Why didn't you tell me? He is not like Malos. To be honest, I didn't know if you could handle it. You care too much at times. Hmm. Jin and Malos must be defeated. Who knows how that'll turn out. But facing them is Pyra and Mithra's unavoidable fate. So, I kept quiet. Pyra and Mithra's fate? She shoulders the burden of sustaining your life. Rex, what burden are you taking for her? Can you live for something and hold true to it? Yeah, of course. I'm living for them. Pyra and Mithra. I see. Well, I guess you're okay, then. Just be sure to walk your own path, Rex. Believe in yourself. Rex! Old man, what are you doing? Huh? Old man? Sorry, wait up! And new thanks for Pyra and for Pandoria. That's nice. Oh yeah, she can't be able to access it, right? I'm gonna give Pandoria her thing. Let's whip this out next time. And since Pyra is the one walking with us right now, let's change and give her that. I feel powerful. Okay. Let's change her back to being a driver. Let's give Rex. I don't know. Let's give Rex. Veil. 
is bonded with oh that's not well wait she's bonded with another this engage that is uh, engage this way that is bond okay. wait Nia has nobody with her how are they bonded <laughs> Uh, matter. I want Vale. I don't know why Vale didn't show up there, or, I'll, or if I'm not seeing her. Oh yeah, she went on a mission. Wait, I'm gonna go back and get them. But first, let's increase. Uh, let's increase anchor shot. And let's increase. Uh, Ground smash, the lowest level, and let's go grab everybody else back from their Merc mission. It's proof. Or missions, I think it's missions. It'll be all smiles from now on. Okay. I'm good at support. Okay. That's the part I hate about this, the how many blades we have to go through before, let me guess, it's another, yeah, and I cannot do that, because I need, yeah, 35 plus, 3 people, yeah, no way. Oh, we're almost, good, 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 okay, now I can go and give Rex, Veil, and I can go give Mia, Asami, where is she? Oh, she already, uh, Woolwick. Okay, let's keep going then. We're now in the world tree and now we figure it out. So blades when they die or yeah, when they permanently die, they become titans. What's that? Uh, but when humans die, they become those weird things. I'm guessing they can become those weird things for some that with something that happens to them. I mean that was a human that was a, a, a an ID badge. So that that woman we saw a little bit of it was a woman so that was a human so something happened in the old world and I keep thinking this is connected to the original Xenoblade through what happens in one of the cutscenes that we see very clearly a scene that was taken almost straight out of or at least the, the, the little bit was taken straight out of a scene in Xenoblade Chronicles uh, so I'm, I think there might be a connection between the worlds of Xenoblade. Maybe the two alternative realities created by something. And we finally reach it. The world tree. Took a while, but we finally got here. Your Majesty, yesterday we sealed Section 47. I see. This is even faster than the surveys estimated. Furthermore, we've detected surges of geothermal energy in the Royal Precincts. So we can't hold out for long, even here. The ether flow is the lifeblood of the Titan. The temperature is increasing with its age. Perhaps we should hasten moving the capital to Gormod. We've only just recalled the Consul. And with no good explanation to the Gormati. We don't want to sow discord for no benefit. It's just, I fear time is running short. Indeed. But not only for us. Gormot is fertile for now. But the harvests have been declining for years. It's like a cry issuing up from the center of the world. <sighs> Your Majesty, what is it? Nothing. My imagination. My sister. Where are you now? So the world doesn't have much time left from what we're seeing. Is this the introduction? Oh. The great void. Hello. It's almost completely gone. After all. What was that? The Great Void was Ophion's doing. Yes, indeed. So with Ophion gone, the Great Void could not support itself. 
If only we were above the surface, we could easily cross. I mean, it doesn't look impossible to climb, but it's nastier than any mountain, that's for sure. Everyone, here. Pyra. Wait, it's mechanical on the inside? Or steel structure on the inside, not mechanical. Why is it mechanical? The world tree. I'd never have thought. That's an elevator. It seems to be an artificial tower enveloped by gargantuan plant life. That could also be from Xenoblade Chronicles X, that tower in the middle of NLA. It seems like we could use this to travel up. Oh. Pyra? What did you do? Honestly, I'm not sure myself. It's like my body is... It must be... Another power granted to the Master Blade by Father. So... We need to hurry. Why? Well, this was hardwired into my brain. So... Malos must have the same thing. Not good. Seems this is some kind of elevator. That's some fancy glazing. Why are we staying Ooh, around discussing it? good with heights. Shut your eyes. Let's go. Walk in. Why are we standing for so long just standing there talking? No, I would look around and I... I mean, I would look around, but apparently I can't do much. Oh. 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 So I, I thought that was something in the distance that I could climb, but nope. Then let's just go in. Is there anybody here? Yes, there are. Doesn't seem like we're going very far in the elevator. I mean, we are here already. You can die when we're done. We made it this far. I don't plan on giving up. Damn. If Judicium hadn't gone down, we might have got you some better treatment. Uh-huh. When human cells are woven into the body of a blade, they awaken strange abilities. That's good enough for me. This'll do fine. Even though she'd hate you for it, right? I know Laura wouldn't have wanted this. Even so, I've got to keep my promise. All right. I'm with you all the way. <sighs> hey, Jin. You better not get sentimental. I found the ruins of Torna down in Moratha. Oh. There were half-rotted blades there. Couldn't grow into titans. They must have lived on for a while down there. A man once said, live together with the humans. Really, we were just living for the humans. That was what the Architect ordained for us. And look what we became. You're still sure about what you want, right? That thing. It's a reminder. To remind me what a fool I was to ever have faith in the Architect. Is Laura going to become a team member? I have a feeling that she will. I don't know why. It feels very much Xenoblade thing to do. We're back! 
No complaints, okay? I hope you will be the bearer of good news. Okay. And arrived. I'm going up in that. <laughs> Here's the thing. Why have us do this? Because there's no... Okay, I was about to say, there's no reason for us... Actually, there was no reason for us to, to have that. Just load and ha give us the cutscene. So this is the world tree. Or the inside of it feels very... I don't know. Modern. For what we've... Well, for the fact that he's a tree and, you know... For everything else that we have seen in this game yet. Okay. And actually, I'm gonna have to pause here for a little bit. Okay, and we are back. I just needed to go to the bathroom for a little bit. Okay, this is empty, but I thought I saw something. This really feels like um, an area in Chrono. Okay. Bring it on. Okay. Oh. Well okay, I don't know what you guys are. You're very technologically advanced. This is very weird. Uh -oh. I feel like they look like droids. This might be references to another Xenoblade game. Not Xenoblade, Xeno game. It was a Xenoblade game I would remember. And there we go. I mean, we got a combo off, that was good, you know? And boom. Oh, I can use the power, but I don't want to. And boom. Huh, and done. Two combos actually that we got. And he's dead. Most likely he's dead. Hopefully we don't attract any more enemies. Oh, Pyro gained another thing. I mean... Okay. Okay, let me just go and lock that thing for Pyra. There is still much to learn. Pyra's actually getting well along, but I still need to do these. Oh, I need focus and make food. Okay, I'm going to take her focus a little bit right now. She wants drinks. I mean... Give her two drinks then. Veggies, meats, me drinks. Mm, I do love a good cocktail. Let's see. Uh, not for Pyra. Oh, come on. Did I read it wrong and it's not drinks? Yeah, it's drinks. I just need to find it. I guess it's not any of the two that I used. Okay. Oh. Mithra also wants stuff. No, why Why did it do that by default? I feel a I oh, see, it's rank 4 that she unlocked. And she got already a bunch of stuff. Let's see, she got this. Lightspeed Flurry. Recharges art or specials. Okay. Like mastery and girl to girl talk. I don't understand what. Oh, I can actually move it like this. I don't understand what uh, things like girl to girl do. Maybe uh, increase the number of people we can talk to? I don't know. Rank B. Oh, hello, big fella. I want, I want the thing behind you, so if I have to go through you, I will. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go all out with this guy. And... Bam! Let's finish this off as fast as possible. There we go. Okay, 
He should be going, he should die relatively soon. Okay, I think we're gonna get one more combo. And we're down now, which is great. But this guy is dead, we got more core crystals. Let's bring hail. Didn't do that perfectly, well perfectly. The best of my abilities, but I still did it, that's what counts. Who else is here? Okay, what to say? Let's get this treasure. And now let's keep moving. Actually, let's go see what's in around here. Oh, there's another chest there. I need level... Uh, okay. Different drones, but probably do the same thing. Let's fight them. Oh, this one actually moves. Okay, you're gonna taunt us, Crystal Sovereigner. I'm gonna do that well. Because you've drawn the ability of three very powerful beings. Come on, this shouldn't take that long. And we're gonna get to... Not gonna get killed, but we're gonna do a bunch of damage to all opponents. There's like two here, right? Or maybe just to one, I guess. Oh, I was gonna say. Ah, damn it, too soon. I mean, this guy's not gonna last long. Look at how much damage already done to hit. Oh, it's good to know that I'm still incapacitated. And he's dead. Okay, I thought there was more enemies. Apparently there was just the one. Got this treasure chest. Dark matter chip. Ooh. So I think once we get on that elevator, it might trigger another cutscene. So that might be the ending of the episode then. It won't trigger, but when we, once we get out of it. And I hope there's not a boss battle at the end of that. Because I really don't want to do a battle. So here we go in another elevator. This, um, I'm noting a lot of uh, greenish lights, you know, like Pyra and Mithra, or more Mithra and uh, the third blades. Oh, we still have a long, a long way to go. Wait, what's the exit? This is the exit. Can I touch that? This was like the Bionis, not the Bionis, the Maconis, you know, in a way. Still gonna keep going up. There's still droids going around. Not trying to fight them, so I'm just gonna see if I can go past it. Get this. Okay, and this guy found us. We can kill them before the other guy shows up. We're gonna be golden. See the other guy still far away. But I could do it already. My double spin match. Okay. 
Come on, the other guy's getting here, guys. Let's finish this up quickly. He's gonna join the battle. There's no chance that he isn't. There it is, that's what I thought. I mean, the guy didn't do much damage, so the potions around here are kind of worthless. I mean, I just want to get rid of this guy as fast as possible, so I don't really need... I mean, this guy also is not going to last... Wow, with the way things are going, yeah, he didn't last that long. Okay, so, unless there is a boss uh, at the end of this elevator um, trip. Wow, we still have to go up. So, uh, I think this will be the good opportunity to end off the episode. Uh, so, this will be the last episode for Xenoblade Chronicles 2 until after E3, or until at E3, the week of E3. Uh, so next week is going to be obviously a smash week. Actually, let me go inside the elevator just in case. Um, so yeah, uh, next week is going to be smash week. Uh, today, the day of this up going up should be Friday. So there will be uh, Mario Tennis Aces videos going up uh, with the playable characters. I'll be playing that game. I'll be trying to do my best to play all nine characters in the demo. There's four uh, characters ready to go and then five unlockables. Obviously, next week, Smash Week, we're going to be starting with Ridley uh, on Monday. And then Friday, no, Saturday will be the uh, Smash predictions, the final predictions for the final roster, not including DLC. And then there will be, with some DLC predictions, I'll say that, depending on some stuff. And then uh, on uh, Sunday, my E3 predictions for Smash Brothers. Uh, there will also be, obviously, uh, during that time period, some videos, not this, not this, uh, Saturday and Sunday, I should say, next Saturday and Sunday. Some predictions, uh, I'll be doing some reaction videos to the E3 stuff, depending on what, if there are anything north of word, no, worth of note. And uh, there will also be videos between the, on going up on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday regarding other Smash things. One of them will be uh, a moveset potential uh, that I, on, mentally that I have for um, Breath of the Wild Link, Champion Link, uh, so, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I've been The Legend of the S, and I'll see you guys next time.